I get dudes email me. How do I get my woman to submit? Bro, you're a fucking dork. Why would she <laughs> reply to you? Why would she submit to you? That's the truth. There is natural balance in the universe. When you meet a G, if she didn't feel like she wanted to listen to me, we would have never got to where we want to get. It just doesn't work. That shit only happens when the female's fucking giving up sex too easy and the dude's just picking up easy pussy and they end up in some bullshit relationship that don't even like each other. That's dumb shit. But if you're a dude at home and you're watching this and you go, I want my woman to submit and she doesn't, guess what? She doesn't respect you. And guess whose fault that is a lot of the time? Your fault. Ah. It's your fault as a man. Yes. yes. It is. Yes. No, no, it is. Yes. No, no. I'm That's not, what no, you guys is. need to damn here. Tell him. But it's not, it's not about blaming men and women because everyone has a problem. But but then there's also men who are worthy of respect who women refuse to respect True. because of society. Tell the so, so there's too. two there's two sides to it, right? But a lot of it is if you're a capable enough man and you're brilliant enough, then the female has no choice. Mm. Dude, I I love that because like whether you want to believe it or not, 99% of men and aren't aren't shit. They really aren't. Like that's 95. the whole reason we started this podcast in general was like to motivate men and inspire them to become better and become the best versions of themselves. Like everything Tate is saying is 100% true. Most men aren't shit. So why would why would any woman respect you in the first place? Yeah. Um. If, whatever happens in life, it's your fault. Your girl cheats on you. It's your fault. You can't pay the bills. It's your fault. Everything in life as a man, it is your fault. So he's 100% right. If your girl is not acting right, it's something you're doing or it's something that you're not doing. And one of, well, another thing, keyword man, I think a lot of men aren't taking ownership. And that's something that you have to do in order to be, I mean, if you're, if you're a fucking man, you have to take ownership for everything in your life, right? Just like you're saying, she cheats this, 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 it's all on you. So in order to become a man, take ownership, look in the mirror and figure out, you know, am I worth a shit or not? And if you aren't, do what you got to do to fix that. That's you, my take. You should be seeking out self-improvement every single day, becoming the highest and best version of yourself. And if you keep doing that, what girl in her right mind would want to cheat on? Yeah. Like, hundred percent. What, who's she going to go to? And if she goes to some like guy that's a lower value, well, then t you just didn't pick a high quality girl and you okay. picked a girl that's just dumb. And for the homies out there that are struggling with looks, when you're low value mm -hmm. and playing at that playing field, all most guys have at that time is looks. But as you kind of raise up all other sides of your, just build yourself up in all other areas, looks don't come into play as much. I mean, yeah. do, would you agree? Yeah, I would say like that goes both ways, right? So if you are looking at a woman and you only like her for her looks, like she's going to get old. So you definitely want to tap into the personality, whether you're a male or a female, because at the end of the day, you're going to get old. All you're going to be left with is your personality. That's true. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of young guys shack up with these hot, pretty girls and they're just duds. And then they're like, you know, 30, 35, they're like, what the hell? I married a fucking plank. Yeah. I mean, to break it down into like easy math, look at a girl's spirit and then look at a man's ability to gather resources. You know, most men that are having women problems, they are crap at gathering resources. And what that means is gathering money. You know, right now, what money is, is just the ability to purchase resources. That's why everybody's hoarding money, just the ability to acquire more resources. So your girl might not be arguing with you as much if you're taking care of your stuff, taking care of her. She's probably going to start arguing with you when you can't pay the light bill. 100%. Well, that's definitely a source. It's not like all your problems with women are going to be solved by money, but you definitely don't want finances to even touch because life is hard enough, even with all your bills paid. So you want to make sure that base is covered. But I also agreed with him when he talked about, you know, respect mm -hmm. and submitting. Like, I'm not a submissive girl, but like if you earn my respect, that's like a different thing. You know, you naturally like start to care more about someone and kind of like put your defenses down when someone earns your respect you cannot like walk in somewhere and expect any girl to respect you respect is something that's earned it's not just like given you have to command respect as a I man i mean that's the truth dude i learned that firsthand my girl that i'm with right now same way she would not give me anything yeah it took like six months of like me showing her who the who the hell i really was and it slowly started to like she started to I guess what go back to her, go back into her feminine role. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was one thing in my mind. I was like, why is she acting like this? Mm -hmm. And well, it was really just might proving not it. it yet. I probably didn't. I was a little shithead, just doing whatever the hell I was doing. And then it took six, twelve months for her to really figure it out and me to figure it out. And then it just like you're saying, it let's, took yeah. time. Let's touch Naturally. on that. Uh, submission is not a bad thing. Like no, a man no, has to submit to his woman every day. Like people think submissiveness is just a female term. Like no, men have to submit every day to their boss to their friends. Like when your girl asks you, ask you to do something, most men say, okay, I'll get it taken care of. That's you submitting to her. So it's not just a, like a, a one way street for being submissive. Yep. Great point. Great point. I think a lot of people take that and run with it the wrong way, but what you're saying 
definitely you, something. I mean, look at your mind. Look at the military. It's just a, an organization's or an organization of men submitting to somebody higher than them. Mm-hmm. Like men act. Men just are naturally submissive in a different way, just biologically. Like just biologically. Look at the, how the military set up. It's just one man says something and he commands an entire army of people under him to do what he says, pretty much. Facts. Anything else you want 